not be the world's greatest Far from the planet, guessing I'm the world's latest And I ain't trying to be the store star like Macy's Imitated flows, call them copy and pasties Cupcake kicks, now she running with pastries Flash drive life, yes, God done say So today we was talking about, um So we was talking about wants and needs And I was just, I was talking to God, I was just saying like you don't have to do a certain thing to provide for your family that you know that that certain thing is going to take you away from your family. So in particular, we was talking about drug dealing. So a person drug dealing for their family in order to provide for their family, but they know that they run a risk of being taken away from their family. How much did they really benefit? So then it just then it just come to mind like are you really are you really doing your family justice by giving them everything that you want them to have versus everything that they need? So if you tell you going out here and selling this dope and you know for a fact that you run the risk of being incarcerated, of being locked up. That says to me and people outside looking in that it's a deeper problem. That you are putting a certain lifestyle and a certain amount of money or a certain rush over your loved ones. That's what it sounds like. When people say, I do this for my family, I do this for my family. You can work you can work a crappy job at McDonald's or Walmart. And supply your family with their necessities instead of supplying them with their desires and risking your life, your your child's future, your your family's future, and your freedom. I don't know. A lot of people probably disagree, but it just it's something to think about. Something to definitely think about because so many people try to use the excuse I do this for my family I do this for them but when you really sit back and think about it if what you're doing for your family can jeopardize you being with your family how much are you really benefiting and there's probably some people that say well, what if I don't get caught what if I don't get caught but you dancing with an if and you gambling with with your with your children and your family and your wife and your loved ones, so I just don't think it's a wise gambler, and that's just my opinion. A lot of people might have their own opinion, but it is what it is. Peace.